He still got clipped by that Delta. A little scary. I mean, he did air dodge off stage, but still manages to make it back. Although putting him in a pretty bad position, not oh! only losing Luma, but losing his stock for it too. A pretty bad position. That was a horrible position. <laughs> there goes the buzz losing the stock. Uh, Nairo. I love hanging out off stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a nice place to vacation, but you don't want to spend too much time out there. Yes, this is exactly. ridiculous play. Oh my God, he almost took his stock without Luma. That's so hard to do. Yeah, almost didn't need it. And you know what? I also really agree Ooh. with the fact that he's going Rosalina for this matchup also because you have to think about the down air that lingers. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. platform cancels into auto reticle into the explosive flame, how getting rid of Luma all at the uh, same time from Nairo. How, how the hell does he make? How does the hell does he make Palutena look as cool? Like, okay, all right, Nairo. Just slaps. Just, just honestly, that was the best option. He just slapped Luma right out of the stage there. Gets the down tilt. I mean, you were talking about it, Hazmat. It's so easy to try to contest Rosalina's recovery, especially since there's no hitbox whatsoever when it comes to a Rosalina getting back. The buzz, when it comes to covering with characters that just don't have a hitbox, the buzz is that master. That was a really good backer, too, from Nairo, just because he got rid of Luma and also could have contested the buzz if the buzz had rolled from the stage. Yeah, it's a huge situation to get rid of Luma in, but the buzz has not been afraid to swing when he does not have her in these KO situations. <gasps> oh my goodness! The timing Ooh. on that was impeccable, the buzz with the nod. That was really good. Just the patience from the buzz and lingering by the ledge to try to clip Nairo whenever he gets to start with recovery has been fantastic. We Honestly, the patience and just understanding the options that your opponent has to work with depending on their position. You know, Nairo was offstage at that point. He was a little scared of Nair, that which mm -hmm. set him in that position in the first place. The moment that DeBuzz saw that Nairo recovered up high below the ledge there, he placed that Nair perfectly to Ooh. try to clip him before he got back onto the ledge. I know we were talking about it earlier too, you know, when it comes to teleport recoveries, they're pretty easily gimpable, especially easy to two frame as well when it comes to them trying to get back onto the stage. Get the buzz. Wow, what a Nairo banger. with these backers have been fantastic so far. Not only just hitting the buzz, but also hitting the Luma at the very beginning. Wow, he's spacing on that. Yeah, that grab from the buzz. The movement. He was ready for that air dodge in. He was ready for something from Nairo for sure. Yeah, Nairo and the buzz literally dancing around each other right now. Another backer taking care of Luma and another up smash from Nairo. I like how he's been uh, smash attack happy since the last game too. It's pretty interesting, although these up smashes really haven't been helping him that much just oh yet. God. Oh, landing right on top of the buzz though and landing into that up air. Best pal, he's, he's gonna be very good with her Nair, of course. Of course, oh, oh, as oh. almost <laughs> killed. That was a little scary right there. Oh but the down air definitely gonna do it. And that's what I was talking about. The down air lingers for so long that if Nairo wants to go for the ledge there, that's definitely going to clip his recovery. Both these characters mess each other up at the ledge. Whether it's slightly or going a whole different angle, it's been working out so well for DeBuzz. That's what I was saying, too. Like, DeBuzz's options to recover with a character that doesn't have a hitbox in the recovery is Ooh. great. But landing on top of Nairo with that up air, Nairo sharking him right towards the blast zone, evening out this game pretty quick. Either way, we're moving on in the bracket. I believe we're going to go down to, to the loser side of the bracket. Mm -hmm. Loser's yeah, quarterfinals. There's a Mars versus Dark Wizzy, which these two don't really get to play that often, funny enough. Um, I believe Dark Wizzy last played Mars uh, in March, and Mars had won twice in that tournament, 3-2, so it was last game. Yeah, Wizzy always like a threat to New England players. Like he'll show up to our regionals. Like he might be light, he might be Mars, he might be like anybody that we got. Like we throw at him. Wizzy obviously a top top player in this game. He's actually honorary New England, so this is technically a New England team kill. Even though Wizzy, yeah. you know, he'll be moving to New Jersey soon. Yeah, I don't even know. Like what is Wizzy, that fair? Wizzy's like I don't know. I am New England by default, but I don't even know what I am to be honest. Like I'm New England, but I'm New York, but also like I'm sometimes in Florida for weeks at a time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is going to be pretty hype, actually. I mean, you were talking about Mars having a bunch of characters to mess Ooh. around with. Okay. Uh. He didn't have a job. Oh, my. What a way to start the set so explosively. Not even surprised coming from Dark Wizzy. And you know what's great, actually? I believe Shine last year was the first tournament that he had made a top eight and a major. So to come back is also so sweet to see in a new game. Dark Wizzy in this tournament alone. I believe he was sent to in loser's bracket uh, by Rafi, Rafi X. Yeah. yeah, which is funny because he got the run back on Rafi earlier on. And um, Dark Wizzy for this event has beaten like Nick C, which was game five. He beat Benia game five. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't do too hot at Evo and he got 65th there. But this tournament, I feel like he's just bringing the sauce. I like the empty hops, the duck two into the back here and the grab. Oof, that air dodge perfectly, knowing that Dark Wizzy was going to try to go for that fair. And actually flooded in the wrong direction too, which would have been possibly the game right there as Mars was trying to recover at the same time by the ledge. I feel like Ike does well in this matchup in terms of neutral, in terms of punish game, all that stuff is good. Off stage though. All right, uh, yeah, recovering. Oh, oh he my air dodged right God. into it. Okay, stares death right into the face. Hit me, please. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> Dude, that was like, a 
Mars is, I mean, he's in a good position here to hit a couple nares and win this game, basically. Which is, that's, that's just the CSS Bible, basically. Live and die by the nair. Molded by it, man. He's yeah. a Zare. <laughs> He's a Zare. I like to space him out. Dark Wizzy, but that parry coming through. A lot more parries, I would say, this game from Dark Wizzy that he's utilizing a, uh, utilizing a lot more. Yeah. Like we saw from Leo, it's just a character you got to parry against. You got to mm -hmm. teach him that being in the air and swinging on shield safely is not a thing he's going to be able to do. I have like Dark Wizzy. Oh, I was going to say oh, that was no! so scary, but ends up off the stage Hold right on. here. Mars not having to find his way to get back into the stage. Dark Wizzy canceling that flood. Tries to cancel it and tries to get. Oh, this is so close. Oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh! Mars! Wizzy. Letting it rip Wait, with the can... flip kick. Let's see what he does here. Game five, Vicky. I know, Hazmat. I know we also like went over what we thought about Dark Wizzy as a player prior to Shine. We were looking at some players in bracket and what we were going to see in terms of their run. And honestly, Dark Wizzy is one of those players that I did say you have to keep your eye out on because not only <laughs> does this kid put so much work into this game, but he also has his mentality when it comes to, you know, close sets. It could get it tough for him. It could go either way. I feel like he also oh, tries to go for the up air into fair there by the ledge. Really scary, but Mars now pairing on his own. Doing a really good job by keeping Wizzy out, not only with these stairs, but oh, contesting it with the flip kick. Wizzy gets back safely onto the stage, though. Jab lock. Yes, the jab lock. Oh, what? No, oh, what? No, Wizzy, no. I don't, know, that, I don't know if I would go for the hard read there necessarily, no, but. That was a no, yeah, that was, that was definitely not supposed to be in that oh. direction, quite unfortunate. Yeah. And that was definitely that was definitely the changer for Dark Wizzy as well. I feel like the momentum now is most definitely in Mars's favor. A B, and he's going to push him towards the blast one. That's going to be it. But you know what? Neither player looks happy about this one. And I, I don't blame them, Vicky, because Wizzy was playing so hot. He was a man on fire coming into this set. He was up 2-0 against Mars. It's, it's tough in a situation mm. like that because you, you saw how well Dark Wizzy was playing that entire set. Mm -hmm. Mars, you know, allowing the momentum to al allow him not only to maintain stage control, but also to take advantage of the fact that Dark Wizzy was really dropping the ball, I would say. You know, unfortunate with that forward smash facing the opposite direction, despite him getting the jab lock. Um, I feel like once he saw he dropped that last game, I felt like his mentality really... <laughs> <laughs> I felt like his mentality one. just really swayed. Um, that's what I was trying to talk about. You know, Dark Wizzy as a player, he I feel like he's more mental based. Yeah. Um, when he feels very confident, like a good example of this actually is to talk about his set versus MVD at the Thunder Gaming 2, um, the Arcadian Invitational. Yes. Uh, he When he had that momentum and when he had that confidence, he was playing out of his mind. Very similar to this set, the moment he was up two games, you saw that he was playing very differently compared to the last two games that we just saw versus him and Mars. Um, I feel like the moment he dropped that second game, he was he was just not able to really bring it back from that, man. Here you go, we got the run back going on again, looking like a repeat from Super Smash Con 2019. We got MK Leo and Sam Sora uh -oh. duking jacket it out in... Why is he? It's getting <laughs> unzippered. I was gonna say it's called no, jacket staying on. It's, it only released like ten percent of his energy there. Like once the jacket only comes 10%. off, yeah, you know, the rest is ninety percent is still on. So okay. it just would have been funny if Leo jumped into it with the rebel scar, <laughs> free Arsene right there. It was just it really was, risky, honestly. But either way, go Sam Sor playing by the ledge, recatches that turn up using Nair. Grab with the tech in place, not allowing MK Leo to get much, but he just, oh, so scary, but you see he's Sam Sora going for that air dodge. I love when Leo goes for that up because it forces him to go for the air dodge, and mm -hmm. then Sam doesn't feel safe trying to land on Leo. He has to go off stage, which is exactly yeah. where Leo wants to force you. Leo, you genius. <laughs> exactly, man. That's all conditioning right there, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, huge. Nair coming through. Very big. Oh, my. Sam Sora went into the depths to make sure that that Nair ended Leo's life. Uh huh. Avoiding the forward smash too. Truly like the trump card in terms of momentum for Leo. Good job by Sam Sora avoiding it. Let's see what he can get on the stock. So important to get the extra extra damage here and also be careful of the meter. If he can activate the meter, that is so important. And Peach, a character with very high damage output, can activate the meter very, very soon. As we can see, it's so close to popping now. The heck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One hit him forward there, okay. Here we go. Right there on the stage, you man. I was not going to be able to do it, not being able to get back into the stage from the ledge. Here you go, the patience coming through, although that meter home was pretty full, more than halfway full at least. The patience, though. And this is Ooh. the situation where you see Sam Sora pull out the turn from most. Every time Arsene's right there, he knows that the side bees are coming, but yeah. he's not going to approach Leo. It's like a stare down at high noon here. Like, you know, quick draw action here. Just and a he's little like, bit. and then he floats away. He's uh -huh. like, see ya. <laughs> yeah, you know, Sam is just going to chill. Oh, the crowd's cheering. <laughs> 
I they love should, it. Man. I oh, mean, no. that's how you gotta do it. But that grapple hook, oh not God. letting you go anywhere. Maybe, maybe our our send is Where a hindrance. Are you going? Oh my God! Why not? Just keep throwing it out. Oh, gets back onto the ledge with the Tetracon coming through, calling out that Parasol. When is Sam gonna get back onto the Sage? I don't know if he will. Never, this game. never. Yeah. You don't even have to be in front of him. <gasps> Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that was a bad air dodge. Nice that recognition. That was a great recognition from Sensora. That's a, oh, he rolls, okay. I like it. He didn't want to try to get up attack or do anything. But this is, oh no, where are Here the we bombs? Go. Here are the combos, here are the bombs. Look at Sensora in the player can, you guys. I love how he backed off, seeing that Arsene was ready. This is Leo. Leo's opportunity right now to try to finish this. Leo saying chill though, you're on Smashville. Not a whole lot of room for you to hide and just like that, I'm gonna find a back air, not enough to KO though. Ooh. The movement from Sensora just floating out of harm's way. One stop away from stopping Leo's track right now. Dangerous situation at the ledge. Sam Sora about to close this. Oh, oh he can't, you can't hit him when he's like that. Oh. Like that. No. Sam Sora tried, though. That was a really good try. Who knows? Maybe Leo was swinging oh, that situation. Leo's dropping it. Sam Sora is taking this. Ooh. What is going on? What can Leo oh, do? He got hit by smash. the forward smash. We are still living amazing DI from MK Leo. Sam Sora, what are you going to do? Leo gets back onto the stage. Pressure on Leo. He's going to look for an up air. Here we go. Sam Sora moving around. Four oh air in the center gosh, stage. Sam Sora Not gets the fair. No, he is still living. There is another stop that Leo needs to come back from. And he gets the nair. That's the and nair. you have your shine oh. 2019 champion, Sam Sora. we just witnessed what history we just witnessed history. history that's what we witnessed we witnessed grind grinding coming in clutch allowing him to just i am shaking i'm honestly shaking because that he's been able to come so close between super smash con finally bringing it back here at shine 2019 two weeks later was able to grind with mk leo the last week honestly while he was visiting them they were able he was able to figure something out hazmat he played out of his mind he was down that first set but was able to change the situation lost the first game of the reset and still was able to clutch it out you guys sam sora sam sora stopping mk leo sam sora